Uh, today I'm going to create uh, the Power BI Fabric Data Flow Generation 2. So we are going to cover the concept data modeling and data pipe also. Like uh, you, we can use the data lake. Uh, we can create the data, uh, data flow and maybe other options too. Like uh, we have the other sources option also available. So a lot of changes uh, has made by the Power BI. So I should uh, we can show you that how uh, these things is work in a Power BI. So to this, let me introduce. So uh, this is Power BI Cloud, and uh, we there are certain uh, things that you remember. Uh, if you are using, let me cover the concept first, then we'll move move to the next step. So the Power BI. Uh, obviously going to uh, move to the first generation to second generation so, and that very great option given by the Microsoft and I would really appreciate that so that we have a great features uh, like uh, data flow generation 2 has new data flow uh, and it's a uh, bring new features and new experience obviously customer new experience so previously we have the uh, power v, power query option we, we generally use that but now shorter author, uh, authority authoring for that I'll let you know what is it auto save background data destination improve uh, monitoring and refresh policy these kind of uh, options they've added that and uh, it is has some limitations as well but yeah that, that's great so shorter authority is is like a full power by query option has been given to them uh, you can check your event data structure data model uh, the table definitions that kind of things can check in the power bi that's a great feature it has so see here here i can show you in 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 the portal as well so here this kind of option they added there so i will explore everything one by one and also uh drafting facilities like you can drop create your data flow and drop in your new workspace and keep it as it is and after that we have given the uh fabric uh, lake house that using uh, fabric uh, we can say lake house you can create that a uh, geo data explorer geo synapse and a geo data schools when these kind of features also you can use directly and build the report so one thing that load data from fabric warehouse as well synapse means all options was there and you can say this so this option already added in the power BI cloud and you can track as well so this is the feature that and even you can create your pipeline too. So pipeline prospect will explore more detail on that. And I will create more video on that because it has a lot of feature added to that. After that, uh, licensing term. So obviously if you are using Power BI, uh, Power BI Premium, so you should switch to the Power BI Fabric. So here I'll, I'll show you why I'm saying. Say this, if you are using the Power BI Premium capacity, Fabric item are not enabled. So enable the fabric item for BI capacity enable Microsoft Fabric. So we must enable that because it's going to link with Azure and Power BI together. So that reason we need it. So here I have a pro and this kind of licenses detail we have. Uh, Microsoft has you can you can go through it to licensing. We're not going to covering here. So okay, so I think let's move to the uh, I'll all link I will add it in the description video so please go through it one by one and and definitely will learn more on that so let's continue to the uh, navigation part so let's come to the home first let's refresh it oh, let's close it first even powerbi.com Obviously, I, I don't have to log in because it's automatically going to log in portal. So after that, I create my data flow. So so I have a data separate workspace. Yeah, or depending on the organization policy. And after that, same previously that option was there, which is called data flow and data mark, data streaming the will cover one by one. But yeah, let's cover the data flow first. So data flow. Same that previously has, but yeah, little more option has been added. So now uh, attach the common data modeler folder. So like suppose if you're creating any kind of uh, folder path you have and we created that maybe JSON file you have. So you can just directly import here. Import model if you created any specific file for import JSON you can import directly. 
if you created any data flow tables and all then you can connect directly and consume it and then go back let's cancel that and now i wanted to create my new definition new table everything so i, I can do that as well and we have many sources so click here you can see the all sources that we have even have a simple data too so you can use any simple data right now so i'm not going to use this one i can use mine one so we here have a north wind data simple that i'm going to use here so come to the home and type o d data fia o d data this one just paste the link and after that continue next wait uh, uh wait that that should be loaded once again so customer employee invoice and select related table not more than that wow so we have region to so add more couple of options so that uh, we can show you as well after that once i selected that then i go to the transform data so i'm not going to go very detail here but yeah i can give you the option where you can see these things and how does it work so that that kind of things i'll let you know so see here in in usually your power bi desktop you see this option here we have to and previously it was there but yeah it is more uh view is better than uh, that yeah previous one so here i have options after that these are the option you can say manage data connections and all this part was there so you can modify that and parameter options and then thereafter we have the property and what this can all options was there then we have transformation same thing add column here we option ranking everything here have a lot of changes so data model we have enable column profiling like i wanted to profile my column check what is the column quality and everything so i can check it out here as well so here i have this option let uncheck that then we schema view like i wanted to view the schema of this so i can do that i wanted to view the script so i can step up query i can script it out maybe then after we can view the diagram of the table so that i can do that to here diagram too and after that we have like query uh, settings so you can do the query settings as well here option added that you can check a step how many steps have perform if you want to rename by uh, rename here too or maybe come here you can rename here too as well by clicking twice and if you want to go in respect to column you can go and find out schema tool so here i have the schema tools to like uh, remove program. means almost feature was given by the uh, we can say microsoft to explore that and that's very good i i like that so let uh, cancel everything i don't want to view the diagram i want to view my data set data yeah then then close it and let's run it so it, it will test and you can easily credit the data flow and give the name of data flow so not wind data simple so now save that if you want to give description you can we can give it to them no problem schedule refresh so don't need that because it's not going to change but yeah i'll show you set refresh so here i have the simple so now i don't need that and all so it is just on the refresh select your time zone so my uh our time zone india so our time zone let me five where is the five not indiana let me check where is it yes and give the time so like 1 am when i was sleeping so then then it, it should be work and if you want to do other people so give your email id so you can do that as well so let remove this one i don't need that right now data owner any this email id data owner so that that's great so you can usually do it so this is the uh simple of the uh a uh, data flow that latest generation two and let's go to the second part which is uh generation two so here our data factory 
in the data flow generation 2 and data pipeline so generation 2 is the same concept that i have that i told you so it's a simple way you can go here and you can find the same option i can create that as well so let me show you the step that i told you is, is the second generation so previous step you should follow but yeah it, it is it is more option to that i think it will it will loading and yeah it has more flexibility and directly you can create from the data flow so this kind of option was there so i really like it let me load that once again okay getting ready okay so it shouldn't be having data flow so see directly created the one uh, we can say we give the option to you so if you don't know so you can click here and find out the source whatever you have so the recent source is say this let me check here and come see these options same option even you can upload your file if you need to upload your file and use it if you blank table this kind of option was there so you can use and best part is that one leg that i told you so you should use the one leg data warehouse and build that data workspace connecting data warehouse staging leg Well, connect to that select the file that you have and create that well, I think it, it is not created the files uh, you can say we don't have a data so I think go to the simple one and whatever you have so you can do that please don't use legacy power beta for legacy it's old one so I think we don't have a data lake. Once we have, we can do that, no problem. So simple steps where we can perform and same option was also there. Okay, so this is the uh, generation two. Now come to the, let's go back. Do you want to exit? Yes, say yes, go back. Click on once again, data factory. And data pipeline if you don't know you can watch my previous video you can see this create create a data pipeline and click on create whatever name wanted to give give it to them i keep as it is i kept as it is pipeline one and after that like uh you know that each stages we have there like you hope you people who work for ssrs and etl process they knew how how these things work so you can do that as well you can create your pipe and uh, you can link with it and you build that data so i'm going to take the uh, simple data okay so all category workspace bulb see this all option is there whatever you have you can, you can do that even more option too no school service apps so this kind of features it has and really awesome all category major wall major lake generation 2 custom custody whatever your source have you can use it i have a file amazon file so use it and you can if you existing connection you can do that oh i don't have create new connection so i don't have a keys and all so not possible to do that let go back and click http file next existing connection should be display why is not displaying let's go back this is my data It's loading the data. Where is a cricket file? No SQL.
so whatever connection you have you can build and use destination file and after that let me add here server in hostname no use the all category so i want you to use the I don't have actually Amazon file 3. Don't have Amazon file storage lake. It is asking for connection. We don't have, we haven't created any connection yet in Azure data lake. So that's we don't have a demo prospect. Workspace oh, lake. Hmm. And now, whatever table you have, you can append and close since. I don't have much data so yeah say this that is this and save and run and now successfully created the copying data so each did each flow you should copy here invoke your table and check the stages run histories so if you want if you have any specific parameter you can pass your variable give it to them settings output so same ETL process it has that ETL works on. So same concept here too. You don't have to worry about that. First you need the ETS and then run and then have to view. So here I have a status. You even you can check you see, see the progress is going on. So it will take a time. Hmm, yeah, succeeded. See this succeeded that. So it means it, it will be it will it will give the all detail and view run. So here I have owner Gajanan theory, manual trigger, start time in time succeeded and pipeline this. So this pipeline has been created for it. And after that, pipeline and created. You can view in JSON code if you wanted to view JSON, you can view that too. Okay, so this one has been done. Where should I check that? Yes. So here uh, you click and you can to, to rename, rename it uh, test data test test and activate advanced option was there also. Give this option source connection if you have. Uh, since I'm giving this simple data if you have in your data if, if it's workspace you can use workspace external tool and other you can do that and after that destination process data lake and all these kind of option is there too mapping and setting you can map it each stage and after the settings you can modify that so this way we can create your data flow and pipeline and that is the best part is it is If you have any questions, definitely try to answer questions too. So we have successfully created the data lake test, data flow one, generation two, and data pipeline. So here have a pipeline, so same way. So we have created everything. And if you have any question, concern, please post and comment. I'll try to answer that. I know uh, video is not large. But yeah, video is a little bit large, but yeah, concept is required for the data flow and this is very important. So please